Hi, I'm Daniel Jean-Baptiste and today I'm going to show you how to mount your silk paintings onto a stretch canvas. This is the final result here. The painting is ready for hanging. You notice the sides are painted gesso black and hanging wire at the back so the painting is ready to go on a wall. So let's get started. So to start with I'll be mounting a 30 by 40 inch silk painting onto a canvas the same size. Now, it is important that when you create the artwork, as in this case, you create it half an inch or maybe an inch bigger. In this case, I, I made it half an inch, so it's 30 and a half inches by 40 and a half inches. And the reason for that is when you mount the silk onto the canvas, there will be a, uh, an overlap on the edges. Anyway, we'll get to this later, but you just want to make sure that your, your image gets covers the entire surface. You will need a good canvas, a good stretch canvas, so don't go too stingy on your canvas because this is your final presentation. I'm using a museum stretch canvas, uh, look at the size and it has supports at the back and it, you need to also check the entire front surface to make sure that there are no flaws if you do notice uh, any areas that are irregular in color you can just jet, put some white gesso I would even suggest gessoing the entire front surface to start out again this here is the magic substance that's going to bond your silk painting to the canvas it's a polymer medium in this case I'm using a gloss now, you don't use it straight from the bottle. You're going to water it down three parts to possibly one part. So three parts water to one part medium. What I've done is mixed it in a, in, in a plastic container and I'm using a two and a half inch brush. You can even go as wide as three inches. And this will be used to, to apply the liquid polymer onto the silk while it's on the canvas. This jar contains permanent resist, it purchased from Dharma Trading, and it's made by Jacquard. Now, this resist, I'm using this resist because when you apply silk to a canvas, you're using liquids, and what tends to happen is the old water-based resist would actually come out and, le and leaving behind a white line, which I, I didn't quite want. And in using a permanent resist, you end up having texture to the resist line so that the finished mounted silk painting looks beautiful. It looks like it was meant to be that way. This is very difficult to use. Um, in another video, I'm going to show you how to do it. But when you, when you look at the viscosity of this resist, you'll find that it's too liquidy. And the solution to that is to add a tiny amount of GNS water-based resist. Why? Because that resist contains a thickener and they and they're both water-based and compatible i've tested them uh, and using them and it works fantastic this eight inch taping knife is critical in the removal of bubbles and the smoothing out of silk on the canvas we'll show you how to do that as well another thing that you're going to need towards the end in finishing the silk the stretch silk uh, is frog tape the frog tape will be placed along the edge so that you can apply a black line on the outer border of the stretch canvas. All those things are very easy to do, you just need to do them right. I've got the stretch canvas sitting on a table where I can work comfortably and I'm going to first position the piece of silk on the canvas like this. Oh, one critical step. Cut out the excess white silk on the outside before you start bonding to the canvas. I'll just uh, do that now. The silk has been cut, or the, the excess silk has been cut off, and now I'm going to start applying the liquid polymer. So, we take the brush, and I like starting from the middle. Now, before I, before I had placed the silk on the canvas I made sure that there were no particles on the stretch canvas no dirt no 
dust. It's better to make sure that your canvas is totally clean because it's a hassle trying to lift uh, this wet polymer afterwards to remove any particles that are showing through. Okay, so we apply the liquid over the entire surface of the painting. You'll notice that there are wrinkles appearing, but we'll get rid of those in a second. Let's cover the entire surface. Now that the entire surface has been covered, you simply pull along the edges like this to line up the, the painting so that it fits perfectly. Okay, so I'm just going to do that now. Line the left side, the top side, the bottom side, just so that there's a little bit of overhang of the original part of the painting. You may have experienced a bit of shrinkage in the painting process, so adding the half inch or the one inch to the painting makes an allowance for that loss. So the painting has been stretched out completely over the canvas and it's got liquid polymer and the entire surface. What you want to do now is to take your eight inch taping knife and you smooth out any wrinkles you might see like this. Go from the top to the bottom first and it's going to go completely smooth taking out any air bubbles so you, you do both you go in one direction from top to the bottom and then from the side to the side once you and throughout the drying process you keep an eye on the the surface of the silk for any bubbles that might occur and you simply smooth them out as the um, polymer starts drying, it will start creating a bond. You want to just leave it alone and let it dry itself. And that's all it takes. That's all it is. You apply polymer to the surface, remove the bubbles, um, make sure that the painting reaches the entire edge of the silk painting frame, and then let it dry. And then I'll be back with the next process shortly. In order to create a perfect finish, in other words, a flawless finish, You've got to make sure that there is polymer bonding all along the edges around the entire circumference of the stretch canvas. You may get bubbles like this, don't worry about it. Your only, con your only concern is that top section right here. We're going to be cutting out this section once the entire piece is dry. And this could take anywhere from one hour to, depending on the humidity where you are, it could take even, even as much as two and a half hours. So I'm just going to let this dry. I've already checked the entire area of the outer edge of the canvas and everything is perfect. We're just going to let that dry now. Okay, now the silk is dry. It's bonded to the canvas. So what you want to do is take a sharp blade and cut off the excess hang hanging silk like this. nice clean edge. What you're going to do now is just clean it up and then you will be painting a dark edge of black gesso on the outside. You cut all the edges all around the silk and I will show you how to now add a black gesso coloring to it. I have put on a strip of frog tape on one edge of the canvas and uh, we're now going to paint it. So the tape has to come to the very edge and you want frog tape that's kept in a sealed container because you want to make sure that it's really flexible and, and new. Okay, let's paint. Now that we have this edge nicely taped and the, everything is looking really snug on the edge, I'm going to now apply gesso paint. So I'm using a two inch brush and all you do is just Make sure you reach all the way over the tape. Careful not to splatter any paint onto the, the finished painting. And you paint the entire surface black gesso. This will dry for uh, maybe for 15 minutes, I'd say half an hour, and then you go switch to the other side until the entire painting is completed. <laughs> 